thicken up the bottom a little bit. You can either work with um, heavy wall tubing that's smaller and puff that out a bunch, or you can work with medium wall tubing that's the size you want and not puff it out a whole bunch, or you can just leave it whatever, whatever size diameter you have. But if you don't have quite the diameter tubing you want, like there's ways to work around it, like you can blow it out and stuff. So just think about that. So we're, I'm going to puff this out a little bit, there's a slightly bigger bottom. Have a, I have a bushy flame that's not too penetrating because I'm working with hollow. I want to be more gentle. Gentle, but also take up a, a large amount of space with the flame. Eat a large amount of ones. different colors if you want. Make it look really sweet. So I'm puffing to avoid that dome of doom where it domes inside or is a 90 degree angle. The mosquito is dead. It's on my marver I just noticed. That's fun. <laughs> I hope I don't pick it up with my hot glass. But for some reason, there's been a mosquito flying around here. I saw the praying mantis was in the adjunct office. The one that was like living here for a few days, right? Is that the same one? Yeah, I think kind of uh, at the... At the monitor's desk? Yeah. I think just hanging probably, yeah. Yeah, so I like, oh my god, it's dead. That's so sad. <laughs> Alright, so now I can puff this out. If you want to blow a larger bubble from a smaller tube, you can like puff out two bubbles and then join them together. I'm just going to puff this out a little bit more, but not too much. I kind of like what it's going to become. it to be pretty even, like evenly walled. So just try to think about that before you cut it. I'm going to make my flame really sharp again. Small and sharp. Hold the glass on top. And I can still see the flame through it. It's going to go quickly. It's so thin. Yeah. 
I, I'd rather pull and kind of feel a little resistance because then I know I'm ripping it and I can get a clean, clean wrist. But if you're not really pulling too hard and it, it's just kind of like, it gets soupy and it can not be as even. So it kind of is like a earth thing. All right, so it's a little, you know, we have to clean up the lip, but I think a lot of the cleaning up I can just do with heat here. So I'm gonna heat the, the lip here. shape you want then you don't need to flare too much it's really the foot is a real flare but it's so fun to flare out the top part okay and then we could you know think I, I generally like to make a bunch of different tops and bottoms if I'm practicing and then I keep a box of them and then when it's time to make a goblet part I get the ones that look the best together and then I uh, and I'll assemble them together Anything can be a stem.